Greetings, a-hole. We recently got an email from some boner named Andrew. It reads as follows. Hi, Black Love Bricks. Personally, I love the glistening pectorals, tanned thews, and quivering withers of professional wrestlers. Any chance this a-hole could get some original Lego minifigure assemblies along these lines? Thanks, Andrew. First off, this guy sounds awesome. Secondly, sure thing, dude. Let's meet our first round of BGBWF superstars. Pro wrestling personalities with hearts of gold. Flash Bannister is 242 pounds of grappling royalty. A true heavyweight, this back-dropping buttfucker is something of a high flyer. He uses cocaine and a tornado DDT as his finishing move. He hails from parts unknown, which is really just some small city in Texas. Skullduggery is a supernatural six foot seven inch superstar hell bent on spreading fear throughout the BGBWF. He uses the DDT as his finisher because the DDT is a fucking finisher. Who's the man calling all the action in the center of the ring? Why, it's none other than BGBWF senior official Rudy Bygor. With more than 37 years of officiating under his belt, Rudy Bygor is time-tested and HIV positive. They call it the stick, a microphone. And in the world of BGBWF, nobody's better with it than gentleman Tim Gentry. He interviews wrestlers for a living. Is that not the greatest gig on earth? Stand back. Because here comes the heavy rocker, Tommy Knocker. One part DLR, three parts STD. He's the catches, catch can, candy man that makes all your panties wet. Chat me up, a-hole. Where do all these legs, torsos, heads, and hair pieces come from? Let's talk about it in the comments. Like, subscribe, and ring the dang bell, you ding dong. This is Black Glove Bricks. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. We didn't have too many choices, you know. We didn't have all these choices you guys have now. So we have Bobo Brazil, the big black guy, coconut butt. Pepe Gomez, he was he had the cast iron stomach. Uh, we had Killer Kowalski. Yeah. You put the claw holes on your heart. And or you, or you stub it anyway, you claw it, and you, you pass out. Uh, you know, these guys are all flying out of the ring, and they're throwing people out. You know, Haystack Calhoun, he was like 600 pounds, and overalls with a, a horseshoe, and he'd hit, he'd hit people in the head with the horseshoe. And it was a battle royale going on at Anaheim Convention Center. Choke him out, get him choked out, she passes out. Then I get, I get, the big, I get a big paycheck. You know, and gorgeous George, of course. Hey, I'm going to break your nose. Let's do it ten times.